Hello. Oh, Groovy. I'm Barry Schmaltz of BarrySchmaltz.com. Perhaps you remember me from before. We're doing the albums at BarrySchmaltz.com. Today we're going to talk about Robin Raiders. Why is my music unpopular? This is the title track in which he asked the question, why is my music unpopular? And you know, it doesn't really, it's not self-evident from the very first track, why is music unpopular? He sings, he's sounding like he's trying to sound a little contempo, you know, maybe he's pushing it a little too hard, a little too pretentious, but that's my own estimation, my own personal opinion. It's a, it's a fine talent, but you know, sometimes when you try smacks of effort, I, I realize that I shouldn't be saying that on this, this lovely website. Criticism is not the intention. We're deconstructing, we're explaining, we're taking the music that's here, we're telling you, the viewer, what it's all about and why. So if I seem a little partial to the music in which I participate, you'll see later. There's some things I have my own personal favorites, obviously because I'm involved, me, Barry Schmaltz. However, I, we all help each other out. And this gentleman here, yeah, let's go on to the next track, When the Phone Rings, which is a little more in line with what this guy does. Baby, baby, baby. This guy does a little creepy stuff, you know, and it's sort of his, his shtick is he likes to freak people out for no reason, just to be creepy for its own sake. You know, he doesn't know why he does it. He seems to think it's funny. So we, if he's having a good time, we're having a good time, right? Because funny is funny. So hats off to amusing oneself, as I say. And you would say it, though, if you were me, Barry Schmaltz. And if I were you, I don't know. We'll find out later what that all is all about. All right, so he's singing here. The next song is an instrumental, which is nice. It's sort of a blessed relief after all the singing. There's a steel drum, David Gaskin, very fine pan player. Look him up. He's, he's, he's out there. He's out there, all right. David Gaskin. He plays the pans very nicely. It's a very pleasant song. Okay. And this this album though is, is is a very good album. It's got some tracks on it that you should know about. The next one is a funky number. Yeah, you're going to do like this. All right. Because why? Because because they're gonna get you, and that's the title of the song. They're gonna tell you right now. We're gonna get you. Yeah, let me see if I can see a picture of them. Nah, that's just him and his cat, Bear, Bear. Barry, Barry. All right, very nice. We're gonna get you. That's right. All right, so, good song, but the best song on the album is the most famous song of all. And this is actually not, not for kidding's worth. This is for real. This song, everybody loves this song. You might even know it. Recognize that one? That's why I showed you up front there, Bear, Barry Schmaltz there. This is the cat food song. Do you know that? The cat food song. Very meaningful song. An instructional song about taking crunchies and putting in bowls for to making cats happy and the pleasure thereof shared between them and those who put that in the bowls. Deconstructive, because who's putting it in the bowls, right? You. So it's telling you what to do, but it's a happy song because if you do it, everything's gonna be all right. Barry Schmaltz. Hats off to everything being all right all the time, huh? All right. Holding this thing is really fatiguing. These, these technology things are very heavy. And I suspect they're not healthy. They give me a, a numb buzzing in the hand. I, all right. Very smells. Again, keeping it cool. Talking about things. Here's the pipe, by the way. So you know it's good. Next one's an instrumental, except for the words up front. You got it, skip because drummer John Romagnoli, by the way, who is prominently featured on this album, John Romagnoli, otherwise known as Joey Cavone. You remember Joey Cavone? Look up my show, Many Worlds of Music with Barry Schmaltz. It's on the website, barryschmaltz.com, where you are right now. So go and listen to Joey Cavone talking to me, and then you'll see who John Romagnoli is. In, in the metaphoric 
apprehension of the the levels, the levels. So you got Barry Schmaltz and this Robin Raiders, and you got Joey Gavone and and John Romagnoli. So you get you put it together, you can figure it out for yourselves, right? I mean, it's not that hard. Okay. Anyway, it goes on like this. It's a good song. All right, what's next? Another song for the cats there. The Crunchies song, you take a bunch of Crunchies, only they jazz it up a little bit. Notable, notable, because the ending of this song is the same ending that I use. Oh, I don't know if I can even cut to the end of the song here. Anyway, I use it in my show, Just Vamps. I, it's the same track drum wise. It's, it's very clever and if you have the patience to listen to it at the end of the song you will hear and if you go to my show Just Vamps and listen to my theme song you will hear that it's identical and you'll be in the know because you'll know something someone else wouldn't know because you came here to me Barry Schmaltz to hear what I have to say to listen to the explication and and to, to take a further meaningful understanding away with you for the betterment of yourselves and the world at large and is there anything else? All right, we have no time, no time. I get lost in my own, my own reminiscence here. So after that, after that, we're saying nicely. Ah, uh, love is a verb. This is a good one. John Romagnoli wrote this one, and uh, it's it's really poignant and meaningful. It's got a, a gospel choir, so you know it's really spiritual and deep. All right, but but the the lead vocals again are a little deficient. All right, next one is. All right, that's good. That's good. Someone else should sing it. It would be better. But it's a great song. Most of these are better to listen for, like, like for the songs rather than for the performance or the performer. You know, like, listen for it. It's like, oh, that would be a good song if. That would be a good way to hear these things. All right, this is Korean wedding song. Just look it up online. It has done the same for Korean weddings as folk music has done for America, it's, 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 it's indescribable. Anyway, Korean wedding song, look it up. Very significant in an unexpected way. Like the cat food song, but different. More of a cultural thing. More of like a, like a, a, a dig at, at insincerity. That's really what this is, because it's sincere. Well, yeah, you had to be there for the Korean wedding. There's no way to describe it. All right, hard to see. Oh, oh, oh. Lying in a pool of my own blood. Now that's a disgusting name for a title, for a song there. But hats off to inventiveness, because this is great. This features on bass, Gaku Takanashi. Have you heard of him? Gaku Takanashi. Also known as Gaguts Tokyo Nashi in the Joey Gavone context, if you get that mean. So we're all there together, all of us. Over there, it's Triosphere, and over here, it's Barry's Band. It doesn't matter, it's the same thing. And uh, that's a pretty song. All right, you'll like this one. It's got a weird speech in the middle. It's, it's an alternate take, but um, we enjoyed doing it. Yeah. Now, hold on. This is when I talked about Creepy before. Here's, here's the song that, that makes people wonder, is this guy, has he got a problem? All right. Now, this is funky. Check out that groove. But, but that, what's that? That's disgusting. He's groaning, but as if in ecstasy of some kind of self-pleasured variety. It's, it's not clear what, because he's raincoat guy in this one. He's rain, there's a video, by the way, a very excellent video to depict raincoat guy and in all of his, his psychological uh, problems, as they say, problems. All right, you don't need to hear the song, but do check it out. It's worth a check just, just to get a glimpse into the mind of the lunatic. Huh? All right, so moving on. Then we get a portrait of sincerity. But you know what? It is bland and uninteresting to me because, you know, it's a, law, it's a love song from the past and we have to have love and the past is the past. So I don't know. Why don't we just leave it in the past and then it'll be over. We'll be done. Love only comes when it's right. So it's a regret song. You either you have two types of songs in which you complain or you compliment. The compliment or a complaint. So this song, what is it? Sometimes it's this. Can I do that? It's I think it's a complaint. So you know I lose interest after eight bars. Ah, here we go. This is why I'm here. This is why we're talking about this. That camera angle's not so great. All right, Barry Schmaltz here. 
All right, the reggae song, the very first thing I ever recorded, by the way, with this group. All right, now you'll notice that I don't talk quite, quite the same way. He's into it. I had this sort of attitude. I was trying to be Frank Sinatra. As you'll see, it's a great song, you'll love it. All right, moving on. No time, no time. Then we have a less excellent offering called You Got That Thing, which is really sort of a rhythm, a test track. It's all right. It's a moving, grooving tune. All right, you'll love it, because it's got me on there. All right, but here's the one that put me on the map. It's our ripping, rapping, hipping, hopping sensation. It's, it's oh yeah there. Oh yeah there, which is my catchphrase. Oh yeah there, right there, because when you say oh yeah, what does that mean? It's unspecific. Right there, oh yeah. Barry Schwartz, that's me. Down with the young people, right? Keep it contemporary. We're doing a good job. All right. Yes, okay, so you can go, here's Barry Schwartz. All right, so then we got two more and then we're done. I spy promise, we're done. This is a song called Go On that we're doing a television show and we knew somebody and we said, hey, here's a theme song, why don't you use it? And they said, no, we're not gonna have a theme song on the show. And they didn't, there was no theme. And so we wrote the song and the show, I mean, not to say anything, it was about about some guy, he's like a famous actor or something in, in real life, I suppose, but he, he plays someone else in the fictional sense. And then he we went to mandatory group therapy for some reason. And so I did the song, Mandatory, well, I didn't do it. He did it, I was there, I watched. Mandatory Group Therapy. Where the voice there, if you're very, very slick, remember a character named Ted, he's gonna pop up again and again. I think that's him. You don't know what I'm talking about, maybe, but maybe you do. All right, very good, very good. Fix me, is what he's saying, and I think they should in case, you know, he's broken. Anyway, this was a long one. Hats off to Why Is My Music Unpopular by Robin Radis. Okay, Barry Schmaltz. Remember, the website that you're at right now is barryschmaltz.com.